we are Team Eureka. Um, and we are made up of uh, Vicky, Rory, Clem, and Nick. And we spent two weeks building a search engine. Um, for those who don't know what a search engine is, we have this really handy demo of our product. So type your search in, software development. Wonder what the first thing that comes up is. <laughs> oh, OK. Makers Academy. Looks interesting. Yeah, looks good. Looking good. So what, what is a search engine? Uh, many people think a search en engine is just one process, uh, typing in a word and searching the entire web. Um, it's actually made of a two-stage process. Um, so we have a crawler, which um, visits web pages and scrapes each page to extract the data. And it's also made up of the searching side query. Um, so you type in some words, and it gives you results related to those words. Um, when you type a query into Google, you aren't actually searching the web. You're searching Google's database, which is pretty cool. Um, now I'll pass on to Rory to explain the crawler. So what is a crawler? A crawler, also known as a spider, is a program that searches the internet. It visits a given web address and scrapes off all the links to other websites, along with text, like web page titles and descriptions. It then calls again, repeating the process for the previously stored links, which repeats over and over. And now we have a demo of our crawler being kicked off. So we start the program. And it calls the internet, printing off the websites. So as a visualization of this process, here is cats.com, which has two links. When the crawler finds these links, it follows them to dogs.com and cats are better than dogs.com. From here, it follows their links and so on. This process is called recursion, in which each step is the forebearer of the subsequent steps. Recursion is central to populating a search engine database um, and continuing a crawl. So um, how does the search side work? Well, it's pretty simple, really. Um, user visits Eureka Search, obviously. Um, inputs their search term, e.g. lolcats. Uh, Eureka Search checks its database and returns and displays those links related to the search. It's pretty, pretty nifty. The first thing people want to know when they hear that we've built a search engine is the same thing we imagine half the people in this room are thinking right now. Why on earth would you do something so utterly foolish? <laughs> Firstly, for the challenge, to push ourselves technically, because without pushing ourselves, we will never test our limits. And I think it's safe to say that over the last two weeks, we've, th we've thoroughly tested our limits. Secondly, who doesn't love an underdog? <laughs> also, working with databases and data structures is something that all four of us wrestled with during the course they are subjects that we, n we now feel a little more comfortable with. We also kind of figured that being coders, we should probably learn a little bit more about the internet. So our first step was to break down a search engine to its smallest possible working version, crawling one web page for its links and text, and then use our querier to search one word from that page. From there, we gradually expanded the scope and capabilities of our two programs, eventually crawling 28,000 links, searching multiple words, and filtering for high-quality content. We wanted to use new technologies and decided to maximize this by building our crawler and querier in two different languages. We enjoyed the challenge of learning a host of new testing suites, means of speaking with a database, and nuances which came with Python and Node. We also did a lot of diagramming, and we made good use of them to simplify problems and understand the flow of data in every element of Eureka. It was absolutely essential for getting everyone on the same page, and we identified issues early which would have caused serious problems with our code had we discovered them later in the project. So we had many struggles, um, switching between languages, testing frameworks and code bases was tricky. Uh, particularly as the technologies were new to us. Writing the recursive algorithm to call sites over and over, especially due to the exponential element, was particularly hard. Um, 
the main thing being instructing the program the order in which to crawl. Filtering the sheer amount of crap on the internet to get good results was a mammoth task, but I think we did it well. Yeah, we had a couple of struggles, but so many successes. Longer than this list, we didn't want to bore you all. Um, diagramming, which Clem mentioned. Um, teamwork, we were a really great team. We worked together so well. Um, <coughs> we had regular stand-ups from retros and code reviews every day that so everyone was on the same page with the code. And um, team tea breaks, that was really important. Um, makers teach us how to learn. So picking up the technologies quickly was just a piece of cake. Uh, yeah. Uh, Vitaly Tomilov was the author of one of the libraries that we used in our programs and um, he helped us um, tremendously and also uh, Merve Tanner she is um, a former student from Makers who um, kindly offered her help and, and lastly um, I don't know who that person is <laughs> but my team assured me that she's instrumental in getting us to where we are today so 